Forget the Diamond Dynasty. Get the dream team you want right away. And also have the functionality of playing the game offline without an internet connection, a.k.a. franchise mode. Head on over to the top right above my egghead to the paintbrush where it says create. We're going to go to roster control. Go down to roster control. Select the team you wish to edit. We're going to go to player movement. And then from here, we can see I've already made a change, but that's okay. So this is your team here. And then over on the right hand side, we can tab over. There's four tabs of legends. There's long ball beasts. There's expansion era boomers, mid-century groundbreakers and free agents. Okay. So you would simply go to a player, any player, highlight them, come back here and swap them. You can't just like shoot over a player and still retain all your players. I haven't found a way to do that. You got to you got to swap them out. So that's what I did in order to get um, Mark McGuire there. OK, just to show you that it works. And then from here, if there are ever some issues, go ahead at the well, my camera's reversed. Yeah, this way where it says auto fix roster and then you can auto fix roster. Then you can later go up to the lineup and make any necessary changes that you need. Now we're going to back out and go to save roster. Very important that you do that. Save that custom roster. I already named mine as something, so I don't need to do it, but you would go there. And then from here, if you want, you can immediately jump into franchise. <clears throat> Excuse me. But normally what I do so that the settings stick, if that makes any sense, like your roster, go to settings, go to file management, go to load, rosters, saved rosters, and then select that. I had to do that myself because when I went back to make some changes, my Mark McGuire was no longer there. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this step here. And then from franchise, I've already played a franchise, but I'm going to start a new one with the X button here. We're going to start a new franchise. We're going to use a load saved roster right there. Boop. And then see, because I named the Toronto, by the way, because it's a custom Toronto with the Mark McGuire. We're going to load the Toronto roster. And then from here, we're going to select our team that we edited which is the Toronto Blue Jays. We're going to advance. We're just going to skip all the shit. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. Regular season, whatever. I don't give a rat's ass. Now we're going to go to the very top. To the very top. Why is it showing me all this junk? Okay, seriously. There we go. Jeepers. Right at the very top. A little notepad. Looks like an iPad from the 1600s. Go to roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Mark motherfucking McGuire. He's there. So there it shows you that you can have your dream team, whatever players you want, in franchise mode. Road to March, March to October, March to Halloween, whatever it's called. I'm not too sure about that mode. I don't play that mode. It's like a strip-lined version of franchise with a little bit less oomph to it. This is specifically... Sorry, I had something in my... For um, franchise mode here. And then from here, if you want to make further tweaks, well, you're going to have to go through, like, the game and make it, like, more challenging for yourself. But if you just want your dream team right off the hop, right away, this is how you do it. And it actually took me a little bit to figure this out, to be honest, and it was different from what I remember from even... I almost said 2K22. From Road to the Show 22, I think it was a little bit different. It might have actually been a little bit easier any which way I thought it was worth it under five minutes. Most people by now are barely done their bullshit intro. If you like the video, thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with that algorithm. And if you didn't like the video, oh, well, that's too bad. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half and I'll twist it and break it off inside your ass. And if you want to subscribe, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. Go ahead and ask me some questions if you want, but I don't know much about the game. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.